So welcome everyone, welcome. My name is Dennis Ball, and I have the absolutely distinct privilege and honor to serve as a recruit programs coordinator of the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy. I will serve as your master of ceremonies tonight for today's, or tonight's uh, call volunteer recruit graduation. I'd like to welcome all families and friends that are here on campus with us. To those family and friends that could not join us this evening, this event will be taped and will be available sometime maybe tomorrow morning, Jake, uh, on YouTube, or you can find it also on the Department of Fire Services uh, website. Ultimately, it's on YouTube. And Mr. Jake Walk over here is the, uh, the master of, of the camera. So uh, pay attention to Jake. If you, if you come out here, give him a little smile. So on behalf of State Fire Marshal Peter Ostrowski and the men and women of the Department of Fire Services, welcome to the commencement exercises for graduating class 105 of the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy's Call Volunteer Recruit Firefighter Training Program. At this time, I would ask you to please join me in welcoming our presiding officer for tonight's ceremonies, State Fire Marshal Peter Ostrowski, accompanied by the official party. I think we have enough chairs, right? We good? Please join me as we now welcome the Chiefs of the Department for today's graduating recruits. Good morning, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd ask you to kindly stand for the entrance of class 105 and the posting of the national and state colors.
Ladies and gentlemen, class 105 was led in by So class, one, class 105 was led in by Worcester uh, Pipes and Drums. Thank you, guys. I'd ask you to please remain standing, and I'd like to invite McKenna Murphy. Come on out, McKenna. She's going to present our national anthem for us this evening. How would you like this? you need to hold this? Or? Uh, uh, sure. Uh, I'll just you stand wherever you want to stand. Good evening. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so bright? broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or oh, the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streamed Thank you, McKenna. Yeah, your heart's ready to come out, huh? That was American Idol worthy. Thank you very much. So McKenna was the uh, daughter of firefighter uh, Michael uh, Murphy. Detail. Post the colors. Hi, sir. I'd ask you to remain standing for a moment for the invocation delivered by Chaplain James, Chaplain James Cunningham. Chaplain. Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us the opportunity to gather here this evening as we come together to honor these men and women of Call, Call, Call Vol Class 105, their families, friends, and instructors who have all gathered here to share in this joyous day of their graduation ceremony. Let us celebrate their achievement and pray for their continued advancement and safety in fire service. With gratitude for this holy vocation, we pray for your continued blessing upon them, their families, their fellow brother and sister firefighters, and upon the people of the communities that they've been placed to serve. May their training better equip them to serve you and those whom they are called to serve every day. Lord, we pray that we may be ever so grateful for the tireless, selfless dedication to this service by not only these graduates here today in this room, but also for their instructors. 
whose hard work, knowledge, training, and dedication allows us to be here this evening celebrating with our brothers and sisters of Class 105. And finally, Lord, we ask that you continue to watch over all of our brother and sister firefighters everywhere. Please keep them healthy, both spiritually and physically, and continue to watch over them and keep them safe from danger and harm while they do their jobs. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Get yourself comfortable, guys. A couple quick thank yous. So every organization has people that work behind the scenes that make this place work. Very, very quick thank you to our program administrator, uh, Ms. Christine Dansero. Christine, anywhere? Thank you, Christine. Thank you to our instructors and staff, the recruits, this agency, and the citizens of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts truly benefit from the wealth of knowledge and the professionalism that lead instructor Richard Aries, the instructors, and the support staff bring to this table every day. They're all fire service professionals. This staff strives to bring the, the, their best to the drill yard daily, and I mean daily. Our standard, amateurs trained until they can get it right, professionals trained until we can't get it wrong. This staff absolutely believes in these words. By their actions and their efforts, these recruits sit here this evening prepared to meet the challenges of the job. So thank you to the staff. So very, very quickly before I ask the Marshal to come up to say a few words, I'd like to congratulate him on his announced retirement. His retirement marks a time of leadership that broadened the Department of Fire Services capabilities to the citizens of the Commonwealth and the fire service community. As a Deputy Marshal for three years and a Marshal for seven, under his guidance, the Massachusetts Fire Academy has grown to three campuses. Stowe, this is the headquarters, Springfield, and the Bridgewater campus that opened just prior to COVID-19. It has broadened our curriculum and support opportunities to meet the fire service community needs. Meeting the needs of the citizens comes with tremendous, tremendous challenges. The marshal has absolutely been skillful to navigate the legislature necessities, creating partnerships, that build a team to grow the demands of the Commonwealth. A solid foundation has been constructed for the incoming Marshall administration. He always, always, and this is true, he always has strived to say yes or get to yes with his staff or any community request, except when I walk in the office, he does this. <laughs> out, ball, get out of my office. No, is that true? I embellished a little bit, but yes, this, this happens. So this graduation actually is bittersweet because this will be his final call volunteer graduation. Thank you, Marshall, for all your support over the years, and we truly, truly wish you a safe and prosperous journey. Marshall, thank you. Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, it's my great honor and privilege to welcome you here to the Department of Fire Services headquarters in Stowe uh, on behalf of the men and women of this department. And uh, thank you, Dennis, for the kind words. I appreciate that. Uh, the fact of the matter is, and, and Dennis recognized uh, these instructors, our team here really strives every single day to provide the best support that we can for the Commonwealth's fire service, for our citizens, uh, and all that we serve. So let's give a round of applause to our instructors, these professionals. <laughs> Welcome to family and friends. We appreciate your time that you've already invested in the fire service as you supported these candidates as they've made their way to this special evening. 
It's a great honor to have you with us. We know about the sacrifices that you've made uh, to get them to this point, and especially over these last four months that family and friends have really had to step into the lurch, fill some gaps while these recruits were here nights and weekends on top of their other things. We also know how critically important it is to have the support network that we have with you at home because as they are called to drop everything and respond to those alarms to do the things that they have to do and sadly see things that we hope they never have to see, we know too that we can go home and depend on you to support us as you do every single day. So welcome, it's an honor to have you with us. As we know, we sign on to the fire service, uh, we gain a second family, that second family is, is you as well. So whether you're first generation or multiple generation, uh, welcome to the family. We welcome our fire service brothers and sisters. As you can see, these chiefs of department, their membership here in support of their recruits as they have been since day one. It's an honor to have you with us back at your Department of Fire Services and we welcome you on this special evening. I want to uh, take a moment just to uh, recognize a special guest today, uh, Representative Margaret Scarsdale from the 1st Middlesex District. Representative, it's an honor to have you with us. We appreciate your support. Um, Rep Scarsdale is not only a great supporter of ours in the legislature and her, in her home district, uh, but she's also a member of the family as her daughter is a graduate of this program. So Representative, uh, thank you for honoring us tonight with your presence. Well, class 105, you made it! I know that four months ago, you walked into, onto the training ground, maybe with some peers from your department, maybe not, when you got lined up by Mr. Mullen and the crew, I know that you had no idea what to expect. I know that you might have looked to your left or to your right in front of you or behind you and seen a patch or a shirt or a turnout gear with community names that you never even heard of or thought was in Massachusetts. Turns out Blackstone is in Massachusetts. <laughs> but that over these last four months, you know that you've transitioned from individuals to a team. You know that you picked up not only awesome training shared by these professionals and their peers as you've gone through this process, but the basic tenets of our industry. As is on display tonight, the traditions of the fire service loom large. The pipes and drums. The brotherhood and sisterhood of the fire service that strengthens us, that supports us, where we might fall short, our brothers and sisters come in with their strengths. And we recognize that when they fall short, we bolster them with our strengths because we work as a team. You've come together as a team, you've embraced that. You know too how valuable family and the support of family and friends as well as your fire service family is critical to our success. Because as we, as we respond to those incidents, as you meet the commitment that you've stepped into, and I wanna say thank you as well for standing up for that commitment for serving your community, your families, and your brother and sister firefighters. 
As we meet that challenge, we know that we do it together. And so as we move, as you move forward, I encourage you to take a deep breath tonight and enjoy this. You've earned it. You've worked hard to meet this goal and you've accomplished a significant point in your fire service career. Be thankful for all the support, for all that you've been given, the support of these chiefs and these departments, your family and friends. Be ready, because we know not when the call will come, but we know it will, and we have to be prepared. And I remind you, lastly, to build on this foundation. Today, you have the best foundation there is. But as firefighters, we know that those challenges that face the fire service are coming over the horizon every single day. Make sure that you build on this foundation. Take advantage of the training in your own department. Come back to your fire academy. Go to the National Fire Academy. Take some college courses. Look at vendor materials. Do everything you can to make every day a training day so that you're ready to meet that challenge. I look forward to what you're going to contribute to our service. I look forward to seeing you out there, and I congratulate you on your achievement. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. At this time, I'd like to present, we'd like to present the Martin H. McNamara Award to the Outstanding Recruit Class 105. I'd like to ask, or I'd like to invite Assistant Chief Rashala with me to, at the podium, and he'll present the Martin H. McNamara Award on behalf of the state, uh, excuse me, Massachusetts Fire Training Council. Chief, you here? Thank you. Oh, that's a big one. Good. Uh, welcome. Uh, in November of uh, 2003, Martin McNamara, a call firefighter for the town of Lancaster, Massachusetts, was killed while operating on a structure fire. To remember his ultimate sacrifice and honor his commitment to the call and volunteer fire service in Massachusetts, the Massachusetts Fire Training Council created the Martin H. McNamara Award for Outstanding Student of each call volunteer recruit firefighter training class. This program's curriculum is designed to train, educate, and evaluate students in the basic skills of the firefighting profession. The course is demanding both academically and physically. Just completing the course is truly an accomplishment worthy of recognition. In each class, one student is selected who has excelled in the training program, and this student is named as the outstanding student of the class. This recommendation is based upon the student's successful achievement in both academic and practical skills application. I would like to invite Chief Richard Sincard of the Harvard Fire Department to join me on stage. And we are pleased to present the Martin H. McNamara Award to the outstanding student of recruit class 105, to Jason Cotting. Excellent. Thank you, Chief. Great job. All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As introduced before, I'm Jeff Wynn. I'm the director of the Fire Academy, and uh, Mr. Ball knows I'm an introvert, so he asked me to come up here and say about a 20 to 30 minute bit of speech here to this nice, balmy, warm night here to, to entertain everybody at uh, 
looked around the crowd, I realized public speaking is hard. It's kind of scary, actually, quite frankly. I don't have the marshal's gift to get up here and speak in front of a crowd. So, <laughs> Mr. Ball, I don't want to let you down. I don't want to fail you. But to complete this evolution, can I get some help? Are you sure? I was going to drop some knowledge, some way, uh, worldly wisdom, some sage advice on everybody, but I think in order to do that, I'm going to ask Firefighter Cotting to come back up here and maybe deliver that speech to the crowd for me. Please come on up. Give some words of wisdom. I don't have remarks prepared. <laughs> um, thank you all for being here and celebrating our class and the accomplishment that we've uh, created together. Uh, I know that I have been made better by working with these uh, individuals of class 105 and the instructors that uh, supported us through our, our journey here. I know all of us would like to thank our families and the instructors that, that worked with us as well as our chiefs and um, officers at our home departments. Um, I wish all of you a long and safe career in the fire service and I hope that we are able to continue to support each other in the future. Thank you. That was wicked impressive because when you first were looking at it, you had the deer in the headlight look going on, baby. I was like, oh my God, this is not going to go good. Outstanding. Good for you. You lost my place, bro. All right, we're good. All right, now it's time for the presentations of the diploma. That is why we're here. I'd like to call the roll, for, to call the roll of class uh, 105. I'd like to call upon the assistant program coordinators Dupuy and uh, Anton to do that. Um, before we get going here, I'd like to, any veterans, veterans with us tonight? Any veterans, please stand. Thank you, thank you so much for your service. And I know there's a few here. Any law enforcement? Law enforcement, please rec be recognized. Law enforcement. Thank you. Tough, tough job. Thank you. Thank you so much. At this time, I'd like to call up from Blackstone Fire Department, Chief Kessler. Graduating firefighter, Alexander Delgado. Graduating firefighter Benjamin Putnam. Bolton Fire Department, Chief Legendary. Graduating firefighter, Gregory Childs.
from the Carlisle Fire Department, Chief Sorrows. Graduating firefighter, Ian Ford. At this time, I'd like to call up retired Lieutenant Colonel Mark Carnell from the U.S. Air Force. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Carnell is the stepfather, graduating firefighter Brendan Skurlock. Blood loss is not a problem. <laughs> From the Dover Fire Department, Chief Latazi. <laughs> Graduating firefighter, Michael Murphy. From the Grafton Fire Department, Chief Matthew. <laughs> Graduating firefighter, Bruno Camargo. At this time, I'd like to call up Chief Allen down from the Salem Fire Department. <clears throat> Chief Dion is the uncle of graduating firefighter Alex Dion. from the Harvard Fire Department, Chief Seacott. Wow. 
I'd like to call up retired police officer Gerald Ajamian from the Boston Police Department. Officer Ajamian is the father of graduating firefighter Joseph Ajamian. Graduating firefighter Jason Godding. From the Holliston Fire Department, Deputy Chief Alan Greendale. Deputy Greendale is the father of graduating firefighter Alan Greendale. I'd like to call up to the stage firefighter Stephen Michelotti. <laughs> firefighter Michelotti is the father of graduating firefighter Nicholas Michelotti. from the Harborston Fire Department, Chief Hayes. I'd like to call up to the stage, retired E-5 Sergeant Undo Gonzalez Colado, U.S. Army. Sergeant Undo Gonzalez Galado is the father of graduating firefighter Isaiah Gonzalez.
Chief Fisher. Graduating firefighter Skylar Benincully. From the Millbury Fire Department, Chief Koziba. <laughs> Graduating firefighter, Graham Carbono. The Millis Fire Department, Chief Barrett. <clears throat> Graduating firefighter, Ryan DC. Graduating firefighter, Brett Matthews. I'd like to call up to the stage, Sergeant Dan Smith, Franklin Police Department. <laughs> Sergeant Smith is the father of graduating firefighter, Timothy Smith. The Millville Fire Department, Chief Lorad. I'd like to call up to the stage retired Detective David Silva from Pawtucket Police Department. Detective Silva is the father of graduating firefighter Darius Silva.
Paxman Fire Department, Chief Pinchatori. Graduating firefighter Morgan Daly. I'd like to call up Lieutenant David Gambino from the Ware Fire Department. <laughs> Lieutenant Gambino is the father of graduating firefighter Nicholas Gambino. Graduating firefighter, Mason Lane. I'd like to call up to the stage, Firefighter Jonathan Lilia, Rockport Fire Department. <laughs> Graduating Firefighter Peter Lilia. from the Sherborne Fire Department, Chief Ward.
graduating firefighter Noah Day. Graduating firefighter, Elias Papadopoulos. the Somerville Fire Department, Captain Pitcher. I'd like to call up to the stage Officer Brianna Yearwood, Cambridge Police Department. Officer Yearwood is the cousin of graduating firefighter Catherine Yearwood. From the Townsend Fire Department, Chief Shepherd. <laughs> Graduating firefighter, Tyler Carter. Graduating firefighter, Joseph Tosi. from the Tingsboro Fire Department, Assistant Chief Sands.
like to call up to the stage Firefighter Ishii King, Gloucester Fire Department. Firefighter King, it's the fiance, graduating firefighter, Sarah Winslow. from the Western Fire Department, Deputy Chief Davenport. I'd like to call up to the stage, Firefighter Robert Klein, Monroe Volunteer Fire Department. Firefighter Clean is the father of graduating firefighter Catherine Clean. I'd like to call up to the stage, Firefighter Richard White, Lexington Fire Department. Uh, graduating Firefighter, Noah Mallard White. Class, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, class one, zero, five. Nice job. I only had almost one contact. The oldest guy too, right? Jesus. They're very close. So I'd like to uh, invite the class spokesperson, the class is 105, Ms. Catherine Klein, the Western Fire Department, come on up. Yes, sir. Good evening, everyone. So unlike Jason, I have remarks prepared, but he set the bar pretty high, so bear with me here. My name is Catherine Klein, and on behalf of Class 105, I'd like to thank you all for coming. We have a lot of special guests here tonight, including many personnel from the departments we serve and personnel from the state. It is an honor and a privilege to be able to be representing this class and speaking in front of all of you. I would like to make a special shout out to the person who's responsible for my entrance into this career, my father, Robert Klein, who has a combined 31 years in the fire service. Wow. 
I would like to address all of the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy staff who work to make tonight's ceremony possible and our training program. Furthermore, I would like to thank Administrative Assistant Christine Danzaro, Mr. Norris, Mr. Antone, and Mr. Dupuy. They collectively run the Call Volunteer Firefighter Training Program. To our lead instructor, Mr. Aries, and our assistant lead, Mr. Robertson, and all the other instructors, we thank you for your support. We have had to sacrifice countless weeknights and weekend days, and your support has not gone unnoticed. In addition, a big thank you to the crib staff. Without your dedication to this program, the training course would not be as thorough. For those of you who don't know, the CRIBS app is comprised of off-duty firefighters who assist in the setup and the breakdown of many of our training days, burn days, and other activities that make up the training program. They are the behind the scenes guys and girls that make all the magic happen. Now speaking of magic, I find it pretty fascinating that the firefighters in this class are all wildly different people, especially number 33. <laughs> We are all here for the same reason. We are fortunate enough to be sponsored by the departments that we will serve, and we all decided to pursue a career in the fire service. Despite the inherent risks, we all want to take on the task of protecting the communities that we live in and serve, and will serve, excuse me. <clears throat> we have joined a family, and these are now our brothers and sisters. At this point, we are all equipped with the basic knowledge to fulfill this role. We know that when there are ladders involved, we're probably not going to ask Brendan, number 30, to climb them. If we need a half hitch to be tied, you're not going to ask me because I can do it once, but I'm not sure if I can do it again. And then there's a couple of gentlemen in the class that if you want to know how to grow a mustache, you could probably ask them, but maybe not 18. <laughs> All jokes aside, Class 105, congratulations. We did it. But this is just the beginning. Other than graduating from this course, chances are we haven't really done anything yet. I have full confidence that that will change in due time. Like Mr. Mullen has said to us in the past, we do this for those became, who came before us. So class, let's make those proud, and let's make it better for those who follow in our footsteps. Thank you. At this time, I would like to call up Skylar Biancoli and Sarah Winslow to the podium to assist me in the class plaque presentation. A huge thank you to Skylar for his vision and his commitment to this plaque. I think almost every class, Skylar would approach me with a printed photo update of the plaque, which he worked on tirelessly throughout the duration of our academy. He made this plaque by himself with recycled hose and a lot of creativity. If you have a chance to look at it before you leave tonight, please do so to appreciate the time he has put into it. So that we have many, 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 many traditions within the fire service, which is represented with this plaque. Each class presents a plaque to the instructors to, di to be displayed on campus, and it represents their spirit and their efforts, and it marks their efforts here. It serves as an inspiration for generations of firefighters to come. So thank you very much for your thought. One more thing. I know this is Mr. Nanigan's thing, but what class is this? One, zero, five. One more time. One, zero, five. Thank you, everyone. I can see disaster, Mr. Aries, happening. That's the smartest thing all night. Outstanding. That's why you're a chief. Good job. Good job. So I'd like to please stand. And I'd like to, I'd like to have uh, Ch Chaplain Cunningham deliver the benediction.
Lord, as we come to the conclusion of this inspiring and joyful evening, we turn to you once again. We ask for your blessing upon these graduates and all who dedicate their lives in the fire service. Keep them safe and help them to work together for the people of the communities that they will serve. We ask that you bless their families, their friends, and their fellow brothers and sister firefighters. Help us to know that you are with us every day, giving us strength, peace, and protection so that we may step forward with mercy and compassion to offer our hand to those in danger and in distress. Fortify us with your patience, judgment, mercy, and everlasting compassion so that we may continue to do our work to the best of the ability for the towns and communities and the people that we serve. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain. To the members of Class 105, we wish you a long, healthy, and safe career. We also thank you for your commitment to your communities of the Commonwealth. This ceremony is now concluded. I ask you to remain standing for the departure, which, which, which will be led out by the uh, Worcester Pipes and Drums, followed by the class, chiefs, and then the marshals of the stage party. Class 105, come to attention. Dismiss for your department duties. Thank you.